We're given the sequence a sub n equals the quantity four n to the third minus one divided by the quantity three n to the third plus one. We want to determine if the sequence is bounded or unbounded, determine if the sequence is monotonic or not monotonic, then determine if the sequence converges or diverges. A sequence is bounded if it has an upper bound and a lower bound, meaning all the terms of a bounded sequence are between or equal to the upper bound and lower bounds. Looking at the graph of these two sequences here, one is red and one is blue, A would be the upper bound and B would be the lower bound. So going back to our example, notice how the first term of our sequence, A sub one, would be equal to the quantity four times one cubed minus one, that would be three, divided by the quantity three times one cubed plus three, which would be four. So notice how the first term in this sequence would be three-fourths, and then notice as n increases and approaches infinity, because the degree of the numerator and denominator are the same, the terms would approach the value of four-thirds. Or for one or two, we could just keep generating more terms of our sequence, which I've done here, and converted to decimals to make an easy comparison. Notice the smallest value in the sequence would be 0 0.75, so we could have a lower bound of 0 0.75, which would be here based upon the scale of the vertical axis. Now for the upper bound, again, if we don't recognize this is approaching four-thirds, it'd be safe to say the upper bound would be, let's say, 1.5, which may be somewhere up here. So because our sequence has a lower bound and an upper bound, this is a bounded sequence. Now to determine if the sequence is monotonic or not monotonic, a sequence is monotonic if the terms in the sequence are always increasing or always decreasing. As an example, a monotonically increasing sequence is a sequence in which each term is greater than or equal to the previous term. And we can also have a monotonically decreasing sequence, in which case both would be monotonic sequences. So to determine if our sequence is monotonically increasing or decreasing, it's always helpful to analyze the graph of the sequence as we see here, or analyze the terms in the sequence as we see here. And notice how each term is greater than or equal to the previous term, and we can see from the graph that the terms do seem to increase, as it increases, and therefore we have a monotonically increasing sequence, so we do have a monotonic sequence. Now there is a theorem that says if we have a bounded and monotonic sequence, the sequence will converge, but more formally, if a sub n equals f of n, and the limit as x approaches infinity of f of x equals l, then we can say the sequence a sub n converges and converges to L. So the limit as n approaches infinity of the sequence is also L. So sequences that have limits converge and sequences that do not have limits diverge. So looking at our sequence formula, if we let f of x equal the quantity four x to the third minus one divided by the quantity three x to the third plus one, and then take the limit as x approaches infinity of f of x. If this limit exists, then our sequence converges, and it converges to the value of our limit. Now I mentioned this earlier, but notice how when we take the limit of a rational function like this, the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator help us determine this limit. And there are three cases you may want to pause the video and review this, but in our case, the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator, and therefore the limit of the rational function is equal to the ratio of the leading coefficients, which means in our case, our limit is equal to four-thirds, which means the limit as n approaches infinity of our sequence is also four-thirds, so we say that the sequence converges, and it converges to L, which in this case is four-thirds. 
So our sequence is bounded, it's monotonic, or monotonically increasing, and it also converges to four-thirds. I hope you found this helpful.